Sorry I'm late. What'd you say? I said I was sorry. What time do we say that we're gonna meet? Seven. seven. Not 7.30, not 7.15, not 7.10, not 7.05, 7 p.m. And what time is it now? Look, I said I'm sorry. Can we just not have like a nice meal? Well, it would be nice to have a nice meal, but you're not here to have a nice meal with me. As you can see, I've eaten all my food. Can we have a nice meal? One nice meal. Look, I'm sorry, all right? I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just going through a tough time right now. I just, I feel like uh, I'm floundering, you know? I, I lost my way. I need my wife, and you're late, and you're not here. And this asshole's making a bunch of noise behind me and I can't even friggin' think. Baby. Well, no, it's not all gone, babe. I mean, I need you right now in my life. Well, I need just, I need some assistance. Relax. It's all right. Remember how I talked about like like writing a book? I'm talking about writing a book? Yeah. Right, so I, I, I think this is the time. I think I'm gonna take sabbatical. We should go out for a year. We just Screw it, like tonight we'll, we'll, we'll get an RV, we'll buy an RV, we're, we're just gonna head on out and, and, and I can write my book and you can do whatever it is you do.
James. I love you. Need some? Just like you said. Hello? I told you so. Call me on my cell phone back in 90 seconds. Because what?
Who is this? Tristerio. Yeah. So will you do it? Paid in cash. If I don't do it, someone else will. Ain't that my truth? Suppose so. You see, the thing about these rooms is some are arranged left and the other's right. You know what I mean? They're flipped on the axis like perfect reflections. Is that a problem? Just an observation, mostly. You'll need to get in contact with Townsend first thing. I got it. Up here. I got it. All the time. And remember to dispose of the phone along with the rest? It's just the folks in these that makes them any different. Suppose you can look through the wall and into the next room. It'd be the exact same as yours, except you're not in it. Someone else is in the bed watching TV. You'll need to negotiate your own payment. Yeah, I heard you. Night. Good night. So sorry I left you starving, buddy. No. I'm beginning to feel like somebody's pet myself. Yeah, um, probably gonna go out there tonight. She's sick. She's, she's still your dad, sick. dad, who's a saint, by the way, he can take care of your mom. Last week, it was her, what was it, her leg or something went numb? That's a serious thing. That could be like a blood clot. It wasn't a serious thing. She has like a, she has like a mental breakdown. Like breakdown. You 
Rest your chin upon his lips, holding a lipstick you all right, buddy? in across your old skin. It's crazy loud out there. Hold on. She moans, go so slowly, if only I was a holy one. He is of a puzzle that's so simply undone. But when I washed away in the storm, I'm sure. I'm blind, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause I'm one and all I can have And she's thinking she's got all right While he's having all he can have Ooh, and things are really had an even plan Cause he's one and all he can have She's thinking she's got all right While I'm having all I can have Doing things I really had to be even planned Yeah, 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 no yeah, 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 to negotiate your own payment. <clears throat> Good afternoon. Okay, well, I just need the car model in. One moment. I'm getting money. Okay, well, give me the box number then. Thank you. All I need is one more thing. It's a decision. You want me to take care of him too? The boy. Which is preferred is what I'm asking. All right. All right. Have a good afternoon. How many infomercials did you sit through before you saw the blue-green heat a mountainside on a grainy screen? There were two monks, shaved-headed Buddhas, salve on their foreheads. You can tell one is supposed to be older, but to you they look the same age. They are debating if suffering is not felt if it is not acknowledged. Their lips move real fast, and you can't read the subtitles, but you think that's what it was. They come to a roaring river, and the whole room shakes. You can't find the volume, one of those goofy remotes nailed to the bedside table. When you look back up, there is a beautiful woman, long, dark hair and piercing green eyes, standing at the edge of the water, staring at her own reflection in a completely abstract, unconceited way. She senses the monks before they even see her. Maybe she catches them in a glint of the river. Boys, can you help me cross, her lips say. The two monks, noticing her and vowed in chastity, blush and stand stiff, their bodies looking like stiff penises, blood rushing to the head a big dumb grin on you. Finally, the older monk goes over to her. The younger goes limp. The old man, who doesn't look old at all, lifts her into his arms and wades across the water with her, not making eye contact, but not, not making it either. He places her down at the far side, and the young man fords across and joins them. The woman smiles at them both and disappears down a long and winding road. They walk for a long time down another mountain road. You light a cigarette and fall asleep. Maybe you just dream the monks. But when you look back at the screen, you see the young one who looks strangely old. 
The actor playing him is really hamming up the desperation on his face, as if he has the woman's green eyes branded into his soul. The other monk glances over at him, and finally the subtitles read, Brother, it was I who sat down that woman at the edge of the river. Why are you still carrying her? What a corny movie, you think. Go out to your car and drift to sleep. Oof. Your lighter won't work. Oh. Let me try. I'm telling you, it doesn't Just work. Let me try. Nope. There. Told you. Let's ask this guy for a lighter. My lady. I can't believe you. Ever had a guy go through that kind of trouble for you? Never. Now feed me. Okay. okay. All right. Guy said there was a good place right over here. Oh. oh, 
and then the other whale turns to him and says, Go home, Carl, you're drunk. <laughs> Yep. Yeah. Um, so he took me out on a date. We actually um, we went to a seminar for uh, resurrection. It was really expensive. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It was like five thousand dollars. What? <laughs> this is a joke? No, I heard the joke at the seminar. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So what's the joke? Well. I mean, I guess it wasn't that good of a joke, but the seminar was great. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I have a I joke, know. but I don't have a joke, so I what's the joke? Shut up, I'm telling you the joke. I was going to say, but you only looked once, but you ruined it. Did it? Because it's a resurrection seminar? <laughs> so is it okay to spend all the money? Oh, oh. Boo. <laughs> Boo. It's Professor Townsend. Oh, professor, sorry, I didn't yes. know you. <laughs> yes, Karen. Karen, it's it's all right. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Well, listen. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to be able to come to class tomorrow, or the next day, or probably the day after that. So if you can inform the students, that would be uh, that would be wonderful. Mr. Townsend, is everything all right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> is everything all right? Is everything all right? <laughs> oh yeah. It's uh Honky Dory girl. It's wonderful. It's good. Everything's good. <laughs> it's all good. Yeah. No. Uh-uh. Hold on there. <laughs> Thirsty. <laughs> Here. 
Mm -hmm. I like to drink Mary. Yeah, we're mm -hmm. about three drink Mary. Is she fun? She's angry. <laughs> yeah. You start yelling at inanimate objects. And that chair was really mean to I me. I know. It hit my shit. You shouldn't have run into it. No, it ran into me. Four drink Mary is fun. Yeah? Mm hmm. What about five drink Mary? <laughs> I've never done that. <laughs> I've never done that. There stands the glass. Fill it up to the brim. Until my troubles grow dim. Brother, I'm on my way. I wonder where you are tonight And I wonder if you are all right And I wonder if you think of me in my misery It'll ease all my pain and It'll settle my brain It's my first one today
There she lusted after her lovers. Whose genitals were those of the donkeys? And whose emissions were like those of horses? Are you are you here about the noise? I'm I'm sorry that <laughs> that was all my girlfriend. Where's Mary at? Uh, fuck if I know, man. She's probably down by the pool or something. Who cares? I heard a door slam. The management sent me up here. Fuck. All right, hold on. Dude, dude, I know you, I know you. Do you mind if I come in and assess the damage? You're, you're the dude that was passed out in his car. What's up? Come on, man. Wait, 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 hold on. Stay right there, stay right there. Well, what's the verdict? <laughs> the damages. Oh, um, management will overlook this. Good, good. Um, go and have a seat. Cool, all right. Here. Something in there, like a box. Okay, pull it out. Yeah. I'm gonna light that for you. Aren't you curious as to what's inside of the box? Aren't you worried about her? <laughs> nah, she'll be fine. Dude, open it up! Go! Oh. Dude, what the f Dude, he's precious! Come on!
I'm gonna go make a phone call. A footnote regarding the Anora Bufonidae Inculus. Close your eyes. Close them. You won't miss anything. Listen to this. How many dopers heard that noise? How many mistook the croak of the garden variety toad for that of the elusive Colorado River toad? Well, you've seen this nature program before. Southern California, early 60s. Out of Berkeley, one of these guys escaped mated with lesser companions, the toxin diminishing through the ages from the original source. Like contact with God at Babylon, to the point where it's just a leap of faith, a tortilla hallucination. You can see it, a warm summer night back in those Julys and August so many years ago. You're driving in on a particular stretch of road somewhere east of San Fernando. Stop the car. A bright colored van at the edge of the road, hippies disappearing into the woods. The croakers gone in search of a pond and the hippies after them, stumbling over each other and getting lost as they follow those sweet guttural trills. A light show flicks the canopy. You'll be hearing from me shortly. Hey, hey, buddy, come here. Dude, it's for you. Come on, come on, man, it's, it's real urgent. Sweetie, you know I'm charging you, even if you're not the... Yes? Oh, hey, there you are. I don't know how much you heard, but I was just saying how much I wanted to wrap my lips around your fat, juicy little cock. Do you recognize my voice? Oof, I'm sorry, I'm so, I'm so sorry, man. Dude, dude, dude I, I was fucking around. Get up! Seeing the fucking look on your face, man. Oh no. Uh, you don't happen to have 20 bucks, do you? I just charged that to my debit card. My parents are gonna fl oh, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Hey. I'm sorry. Forget it.
I'm gonna go take a piss. Going in, man. I doubt this water is very clean. You know, I stay in motels like these a lot, too. Constantly, even. It gets in your head after a while. Like this dream I keep having. Do you mind? I don't know how long it really lasts. But I'm always in a motel room. I don't know if it's one I've been in before or one I've one I've been in, you know, similar. They're all pretty much the same. Right. But in this dream, I'm um uh, instead of being alone in my room, I'm there's other people there with me. And I don't I can't really see their faces. You know, but we're just walking back and forth from the bathroom to the closet, hauling off plywood, anything that's gonna come free off the wall, and we just just throw it, throw it in the in the heap in the middle of the floor, and I set it on fire, yeah. let it burn, right? You know. And we're all sitting across the Kimbo, you know, like this. So, um, and and as the smoke fills the room for the first time, I can I can really see the people's faces there with me, you know. They're. Features looked real perfect in the flames. Their eyes and and the dimples. And I just I just have the, what, what we all do, you know. I just. I just have this collective knowing that. I'm just gonna wake up somewhere far away. There's only one way out of here, amigo.
<laughs> Daisy Deuce says, Daisy Jew never said that. There's a towel up in my room. Don't mind, James. Where am I gonna go? James? 
I don't know. Like, how should I know something like that? She probably drove off. She's too smart for all this. Come in. You want the bottle? Dude, dude it, it's over there. Over there. On the counter. Over there. No, she's good, I think. Hello, who's this? It's Tresario. Is there a problem? Raul. I don't. I don't. I can't. I can't. I can't think straight right now. If you don't finish this, someone else will. It makes no difference, Raul. You know it's not different. There's never anything different. It's always the exact same. If you don't finish this, someone else will. Why not you? All I need is one more thing. It's a decision. You want me to take care of him too? The boy. Which is preferred is what I'm asking. No. No, just me. I'm gonna bring this to her.
say seven o'clock Where am I gonna go On this dark country road I was once told to be afraid I'll take my chances anyway It's just a dark country road